All right. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a second method for turning GeoGebra worksheets into assignment in Moodle. Now, this method I think is more useful because it it's more it makes the GeoGebra more like a something to play with rather than some formal assignment. And I think uh, you get more success actually because the kids will actually play with it then. So I'm going to take go ahead and open up my uh, HTML. You'll have to, when you export a file. So I guess I showed you how to export in the last one. So you go file. Just to, here's my GeoGebra file, the one I want. I've made it kind of small, which is good for this. You want to get the small as, get the file as small as possible. We're going to export it as a dynamic worksheet and. Uh, just leave everything the same and export and save. I've already done that, so I'm not going to mess with it much. And then, uh, so once you have that saved, just open up the HTML side of it. And uh, so there, it's, there it is. I'll shrink this down. And what you can do is uh, do a control click or a right click and then view source and you get a lot of garbledy goop um, looks like witchcraft according to Chuck I agree but you go ahead and just uh, from the word look for the word Appellette and you just copy until you find Appellette again and there it is and that's where the Appellette ends and then I'm gonna go ahead and copy that garbledy goop and bring up my Moodle Oop, that's not it there it is and that I want in my ge geometry class um, probably in um, chapter 1 and 2 so I go ahead and turn editing whoops turn editing on and I want it uh, right, right in the right part of this title: points, lines, planes, and angles. So I'm going to edit this, and it comes up. And I want to view the HTML source, which is these kind of double brackets or the greater than, less than sign. And I want it right below the title. So I'm just going to hit um, paste it there. Paste all that stuff. And I am going to take out one set of words, and I don't know why, but I'm going to take out this May script stuff. So I'm just going to backspace that out, and I, for some reason, that is very important. <laughs> Who knows? And I'm going to hit Save Changes. And that should be ready to roll then. Nope, oh, and there it is. So, um, it's already in my videos or in my Moodle site. So every time they log in here to their Moodle, and I'll turn my editing off so that you can kind of see what the students see or switch roles to a student. Okay, so now I'm a student, and this is what the students see. So points, lines, and pla points, lines, planes, and angles, and right underneath of there is a fun little GeoGebra um, GeoGebra file to play with. And so, you know, now they just slide this to find the midpoint where they think it is between A and B. And sorry, the screen's so small, but I want my file size small. We, you know, if it was fill, you fill in your computer screen, it would look a lot better. And uh, you can check to see if oh, I was incorrect. And then, uh, you know, you can just get new problems, as many as you want. Oh, and there I, and you can double click on it and just bring the whole thing out front if you want. And actually, you can act, save some stuff if you want to on this, which is kind of cool. But anyway, so that's how you upload HTML code into GeoGebra HTML code into your Moodle server. So it's great and can't wait to use it this year. Thanks. Have a good one.